up guys my name is Mark Santamaria welcome back to the channel welcome back to the RC vlog first off sorry guys I still don't have a new chair I know I need to get a new chair I haven't been hanging out in the garage very often because it's been so freaking hot but now that it's cooling down could get a new chair but today we're gonna go through the RC storage unit I'm gonna go grab out all the kits so there's a whole bunch of boxes of kits in there we're gonna grab them all out some have kits in them some don't have kits in them my goal today is to find the extra pieces on that element crawler that I have upstairs which I'll show you here in a second um, but yeah, I need to grab some stuff out of there. Plus, their Patreons have been asking for some of the cars in there. So, if you haven't found out, if you don't know already, I am selling most of this stuff out of the storage unit. And the way I'm selling it is I'm, get, I'm getting my Patreons, I'm giving them dibs on stuff that they want first. And then after whatever doesn't sell to the Patreons, I'm putting it on the MSM Garage sale site. Which, I'll put a link in the description below to that. Uh, nothing's been on there yet because the Patreons have been buying them all up really quick. Uh, that's not the only thing I'm selling. I'm also selling cars in my collection because I'm trying to make more room for cars. I got a lot of cars, guys, and I want to make more room for cars, so I'm selling other cars in my collection. Um, but I'm selling them at really good prices because I want to help people out. I want people to get into the hobby, so I'm selling things that basically what I would want to pay for them if I was in the market for it. So they're, they're pretty freaking good deals. The fact that they don't ever get past Patreons is proof um, that they're good deals. If you want to become a Patreon, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, those that that's the messaging I actually answer. So the only social media messages I answer, I'll try to answer my Facebook and Instagram, but for the most part, the first thing I do is hop on Patreon and make sure no one needs anything on there. So if you want access to me, you have any questions, you just want advice, um, go check out being a Patreon. Put I'll put a link in the description below. So here's my goal, guys. This is the Enduro that I pulled out of the storage unit already. I want to find the receiver box cover and also the rock sliders are missing so i'm assuming in one of these boxes of kits which it's not in this box in the storage unit it has all this stuff i hope to find it because this should go out to one of you guys also this is a beautiful car look at these wheels these are actually the method wheels oh man these look so good i saw the method in there at one there they are right there right there can you see that kind of kind of see that not really yeah see they're method wheels oh and they're on hyraxes this truck's gonna go to a good home. It's beautiful. It's a really, really nice truck. All right, we got these kits right here. There's some of these are actually kits in there. I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. So we're gonna open these up when we get home. Um, I, I know some people have been commenting about why do you keep one box at a time out of there? We have too many boxes in there and uh, that would take way too long. So let's open these up. These just have used 10 scale tires. Someone needed something, so I'm gonna pull those out. But nonetheless, we'll go through this stuff. All right, here we go. We got six kits. Uh, we'll open this one first. This one looks uh, brand new. Uh, let's see if it's brand new. I hope it's brand new. If it's brand new, that's good. I don't know. You guys tell me in the description or in the comments, is the 22DC 5.0 Elite, is that the latest and greatest? Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. This is brand spanking new. Looks like it hasn't been touched. Brand new kit. Very, 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 very nice. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's brand new. So we got a brand new Low C 22 5.0 Elite. Uh, man, right now I am so excited because all this stuff is just added bonuses for me. I feel like it's this storage unit's already given me uh, so much already. Um, this is this is awesome. So hopefully this will go to a new home because I'm not going to run 10 scale anytime soon. But I think the Elite is the good one. Uh, in memory of Brian Kinwell, that might be uh, that might be limited edition one day. All right, I kind of repositioned here because. For obvious reasons, my arm was in the way, and I got these massive biceps, massive pythons blocking the kit. No, I'm just joking. All right, so we'll move this over, move this out of board. Here is another one. This looks like an FGX. Never heard of this. 10 scale radio control Formula One car, racing car, by three racing. Oh, look at this. It's already built. Oh, and it's got a servo on it. Look at this. Wow, B E A, beautiful. Look at the bottom of that thing. It looks, oh, sorry, I'm covering the mic. Sorry, guys. Um, here, <laughs> let's open this up. My mic is in a bad spot. Hey, let's maybe move it up. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. All right, I hope that's better. Anyways, look at the bottom of this chassis. Never been ran. Beautiful. It's got the low pro profile Savox servo, the SC1251. It does have the TSR logo on here, but look, this is just a beautiful Formula One car. I, I, I might build this one out. I might sell it. I'm not sure. I know Evan expressed some interest in it. Let's see. It looks like, oh, look, it looks like it came with a carbon chassis, but he added the carbon fiber chassis. Let's make sure there's no more gems in here because there could always be gems in here. So we got the tires. Um, nothing crazy, nothing else crazy in there, but very, very nice car. 
Super nice Formula One car, or Formula car. Super cool. All right, moving on. All right, up next is an associated kit. There's four associated boxes here. Let's move this out of the way. Sorry for the wire there. Um, here we go. This is the B64D. This does feel lighter than normal. So this one doesn't have anything in it. Nice. It's got a brand new body. Beautiful brand new body. Um, some wheels and more 10 scale tires. My God. Could that get any more? Could I have any more 10 scale tires? I don't know. That one's kind of a dud. Dud, dud box. But nonetheless, still pretty freaking cool. All right. Up next, this kit. Oh, this feels heavy. RC10 SC 6.1 team kit. Let's open this thing up. <gasps> Oh my god, please be in there, please be in there. Oh, empty. Oh, empty. Oh, this this is not this is not empty. Come on, come on. Big money, no whammies. Oh yes! Yes! The XR8 SCT. This is actually the ESC that I run in my e-buggy. Oh man, I need this. And then a, a 4300 kV motor. This is an awesome uh short course motor. Oh man, what a score! What a score! 4300 kV. Hobby wing motor and ESC, brand new in package, still brand new, sealed, everything. Woo! Scored on that one, guys. This is already a successful pull with the brand new kit and this. But wait, there's more. There is another. This is <laughs> this one's still sealed. Look at this. This is freaking nuts. Let's see what this one is. Uh, this is a okay, this is an XR10 just stock with a 25.5. I bet you this is what goes in that formula car. Still a nice system. Oh man, okay, so come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this one, this one feels light. This one feels light. XR8 SCT. Uh it says XR8 plus. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These look open already. There's no motor in that. Oh, I think these. Oh! We missed on this one. Yeah, we missed on that one, guys. Nothing in that. But it is a box. Guys, it looks like it's about to start storming over here. We're probably running out of light. We got to get moving. We got Oh, the wind is picking up. Oh! Guys, the wind's picking up big time. It just blew over. Blew, do we move? We, we might have to move this party inside. I think we have to move this party inside because I don't want to get rained on. That would be bad. All right, we moved inside. Man, it got crazy out there really quick. Camera blew down everything. All right, here's another one. B6.1 team kit. Let's see what's in here. Oh, look. Looks like just a full-blown kit. Oh, wait, looks like something's open in here. Something's out of this box. I don't know what's out of that box. Um, and then it looks like the chassis is at the bottom there. What came out of here? I have not a clue. Not a clue what came out of there, but something is missing out of there. Oh, my God, seriously? Right now, my dogs are barking? It's probably not the best time. Anyways, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what came in there. Hmm. Huh, huh. Not sure, not sure. Okay, here's the last box. I, I mean, we're on the last box, but I will say I feel like we're we're doing good. I mean, I, I'm happy with what we found so far. So here's this one. Oh yeah, see this this looks promising. This looks like I'm gonna find what I've been looking for. Uh, let's see, we got some oh, a whole bunch of random stuff in here. We got some illusion wheel nuts, wing buttons. We got some pinions, 48 tooth pinions, sway bar kit, servo saver. We got some weights. Looks like these are some, I'm sure it's in the middle here. Looks like these are some steel chassis weights, uh, low friction O-rings, some shock shafts, uh, 70, 27 tooth pinion gear, 48 pinion gear springs. We got charging lead. One of these charging leads. I have like a million of these. All right, let's see what else we got here. Come on, I'm not seeing what I'm looking for though. Looks like we got some more springs. Uh, look, what is this? Oh, a nice little a temperature gauge. Got some wheel wrench. Oh, Traxxas, Traxxas, we got Traxxas. Oh, some small Traxxas stuff. Um, more pinion gears. Come on, where is, holy moly. Look at that. Super score, those are all sensor wires, the shorter sensor wires. These are the ones that I use on my car. Beautiful, this is awesome, huge score there. We got more sensor wires here. Very, very nice. Looks like we got some lightweight 
Um, B6, the axles. Oh man, this, this box just keeps on giving. Some wheel nuts, carbon fiber pieces, carbon fiber chassis plate. Can you guys see okay in there? I hope you guys can see okay in there. So there's more stuff in here. Let's just keep going. Let's take the springs up. <gasps> a black box ESC. Not sure if that's good or not, but it's in here. Oh my God, we got two ESCs. We got an XR10 Pro. Wow, that's a good ESC. I know that's a good ESC. Heck yeah, super score. I hope these work. I might put these in cars just to make sure they work. We got a whole bunch of springs. More springs, springs, springs. Okay, nothing else crazy in here. I'm just gonna dig through this box here. We got gold. We got gold plates, guys. We have gold. These are like, they're literally gold. They're gold plates. Looks like weight plates. Another J Concepts ride height gauge. It's not like I don't have enough of those. Oh look, a VRP one. No, this this one's nice. I like these. I actually have one of these in my toolbox. Super nice. So <sighs> we did not find the pieces for that element though. Dang it! That sucks. Oh guys. To me, that's more stress than good for me. Like all like the stuff that's missing out of the B6.1 kit. Like, what am I gonna do with that? That's gonna be hard to sell that with confidence. Um, all the other stuff in there is just a whole bunch of random stuff. Those ESCs are really cool, but they're missing the fan cover. Those kind of things. I know they're in that storage unit somewhere, and it's like I can't do anything with it until I go through all that stuff. So, oh, so much, so much more. I mean, it's a good problem to have, though. Good problem to have. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Turn on the notification bell because there's going to be a lot. I'm going to do a lot of storage unit vlogs coming up because we're going to hit a swap meet really soon and I want to get as much out there as I possibly can. But we got to go back to storage unit and look for more stuff. So, All right. Later, guys.